In this video, we'll be going over instrument overlay. An instrument can be overlaid on top of the price plot by choosing Study, Instrument, Instrument Overlay. And this will bring up the Instrument Overlay dialog window. In the first field, we have the option to either type in our instrument, select it from the drop down, or search for it. I'm going to select it from the drop down, and I'm looking for the dollar CAD pair. So I select it from the list. We then move on to bar type, and we have a few to choose from, from the following list. I'm going to stick for this example with the default line. For line source, we have different values to choose from. We have open, close, midpoint, high, low, typical price, weighted price, and weighted average price. I am going to leave it at the default close. Now we have some other options here that we will go over later on in the video. So let's click Create. Now this example shows an instrument overlay for the dollar CAD pair, which is represented by this line bar type, which is plotted on top of the price plot for the Euro dollar pair. Now on the left hand side, we have the axis for the dollar CAD. We also have a legend here stating the instrument. We have, as mentioned before, the bar type graph. In this case, it's line. And then we have the label here on the far right hand side. Also on the axis, we have the corresponding indicators for current prices. Now the vertical scale of the overlay can be adjusted by clicking and dragging the space between the overlay axis and the price plot. And when you are in that space, your cursor will change to a double arrow. Now, to add space to the top, we'd move the cursor to the top and drag down. We can add space at the bottom by moving the cursor to the bottom and dragging up. Or we can drag in the middle to adjust both the top and bottom spacing. Now, at the moment, we have auto scale enabled. And auto scale will apply to both the main instrument as well as the overlay instrument. If I drag left and right, you'll notice that both vertical scales are being adjusted automatically. Now, if we disable auto scale, we can click and drag the overlay up or down to adjust the location of the overlay relative to the main instrument axis. So if I were to click, left click, and now changes to a arrow cursor, I can then drag up or down and position it anywhere I want. Now let's bring up the instrument overlay dialog again and go th through some of the options. So let's double click the legend. As mentioned before, we have different bar types here. So now if I want to change it to candlesticks, I now have candlesticks. Let's go back. Let's make this line again. Let's leave it to close. Now let's change the style. I'll get back to shift in a moment, but let's change the style. So let's make this green, um, perhaps a little bit thicker. And we'll leave it as a solid line. Click update. And we can now see it much better. So those are the changes. Let's just put auto scale back on. Let's move it. Let's go back. Now with shift, if it's a positive number, it will shift the plot to the right. So if I click update, it's now shifted over to the right. If we go back, if we have a negative number, it will shift it over to the left. Okay, now you'll notice here that I can't, I can't move the plot. I can select it to go up and down, but I can't move it left or right. If I go back and take off lock shift, I can now select it. And then move it left or right. So that allows us to move it horizontally manually. Okay, and then the value that you move it will automatically be updated in the shift field. 
Okay, we have some visibility options here. Here we have the visibility for time frames. Now there's a separate video for that, um, but in this case, I want the visible. I want the graph or the instrument overlay visible on all time frames. So I'll leave visibility as all. For instance, if I take off the axis and click update, I no longer have the axis. Let's go back. Let's put that back on. We can invert the line graph, so this will be actually mirrored upside down. As we see here, let's go back. Bar updates, we can either have it on every tick or on the last close. In this case, it will be on every tick, so this will update on every tick. Let's put this back to zero so it's in line. And of course, we have show legend and show label. If we take these off, we now have no legend and no label. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.